What's up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome Today's plan with me video is going to be really different from the other ones I've done so far because all of them have been actually live streams and this time I thought I'll just do like a proper well edited plan with me video since I know majority of the viewers do not watch the live videos so I just want to test this out and see if you probably enjoy this sort of format more than the live stream. I think both have their pros and cons but I'd love to know your thoughts so please do comment down below what type of plan with me video would you like to see on my channel moving forward. We are on the last month of the first quarter of 2022. I think we should end the last month of the first quarter with a bang, starting with reflecting and reviewing February. I will give you a set of prompts for reflecting on the previous month. You can jot down these questions in your notebooks, journals or planners, whatever you use. Because I think this part is really, really important to actually reflect on your previous month because only then you'll know what worked, what did not work, what you can do better. And it just gives you like a general awareness of your entire month, which I feel is super important if we want to set up ourselves for success for the next month. Now the prompts are very minimal and simple. The first prompt is the highlights of February. Moving on to the challenges you faced in February. How did you overcome those challenges? What worked? What can you do better next time? When were you in a state of flow? And by that I mean when were you your happiest? When did you feel so in tune with your soul? And lastly, give yourself a score from 1 to 10 on how you felt in the month of February. I call it the life score. You can call it the happiness score. You can call it a mental health score. Again, this just makes us more aware of how our overall emotional state was and if the score is towards the lower end you always have these prompts to look back and see why you felt you were unhappy during this month or if your score is really high then you know that there were certain things that you did during this month that gave you so much joy and happiness and of course moving forward you can do more of those now i'd like you to pause the video answer all these prompts in your respective journals or planners and then i will share my reflections of february Okay, so I hope you've finished all your reflections. If you're comfortable, you can even share some of your reflections in the comment box. I'll go ahead and share my reflections. The highlight of February for me has to be the break that I got and everything that entailed uh, in that break period. I'm not going to go into the details because just in my previous video, I did give you a detailed life update as to what I was up to during my break period. So please do watch that video because you'll know where I'm coming from throughout the entire reflections thing that I'm going to share. But yeah, to summarize it, I painted a lot, journaled a lot, meditated a lot, discovered some new hobbies, watched a ton of TV and apart from that I also got some really really uh, happy news from a couple of my really really close loved ones. Coming to my challenges the biggest challenge I faced was for sure my physical health. Again if you watch the life update video you know I was pretty sick because of which I couldn't do a lot of things that I wanted to do in this month. If you watch my February plan with me live video I set crazy goals and I was so pumped and excited for this month. Like you can see all my main goals I couldn't achieve any of them which is just uh, really heartbreaking especially for someone who's so goal oriented but because of all that I've learned through my experience I know that goals are not the end all and be all of your life you're more than your goals I hope you always remember that so it's okay if you don't achieve all of them or most of them point is just to move forward with life regardless of all this but apart from my main goals I'm surprised that I almost hit all my mini goals which is such a great thing and then I faced another challenge which was of course getting back on track again I spoke about this in my previous video so please do watch that for more details but yeah I think those two were my biggest challenges this month what worked for me I think focusing on my mental health during this period when I was really sick uh, helped me a lot because it was actually a tough month for me uh, objectively speaking of course one is because of my health and also a lot of other personal reasons not just about me but also about your close loved ones which could really affect you right but I think because I was uh, journaling a lot meditating and engaging in a lot of self-care activities I could keep my thoughts in check and just be more happy and peaceful in general when was I in my flow state uh, this month I painted a lot and that just brought me so much joy and also learning uh, whether that's through Skillshare courses or YouTube learning just always puts me in a great state of mind doing a lot of guided meditations and also yoga and for my overall life score for the month of Feb I give it like a 7 on 10 which is not too bad now that we've reflected on the previous month set a strong foundation for that know what worked did not work all of that it's time to finally plan out the next month I will share some prompts with all of you that have helped me plan out my months in a much better and holistic way the first thing I do before even you know actually planning out the month apart from of course reviewing the previous
this month is to visualize my goals now you can do this by either looking at your vision board if you have created a vision board for this particular year i do like to look at my vision board close my eyes and visualize all of it coming true now if you don't have a vision board you can simply do a guided meditation for your goals or a silent meditation for your goals visualize how you want this month to go what you want to do what you want to attract what you want to achieve all of that good stuff you can do this for five minutes two minutes ten minutes twenty minutes whatever your time allows so after meditating i feel you're in the right state of mind to set an intention as an example my february intention was to infuse self-discipline kindness and gratitude in my daily routine so i feel every time i look at my goals that i've set i also look at my intention get a sense of direction on not just what i want to do this month but also how i want to feel this month next step is to mention your top three goals these are like your big three for this year which if you followed uh, my goal setting videos you would know how i go about it if you'd like you can also write down some mini goals next is of course habit tracking i would not suggest you track more than like five habits at a time ideally one to three and maximum five not more than that otherwise you're gonna go crazy and lastly of course calendar blocking filling up your main monthly grid page with any appointments or any important dates birthdays all of that stuff so now you can pause this video fill out all these prompts that i mentioned So I hope you finished with your planning of March. For me, my intention is to get my hustle back mindfully. That's the key word. I feel since I got enough downtime and rest in this month, I'm all powered up and geared to work harder, be productive. My top three goals are quite simple. I will be having top four, but two of those top four goals are for the same thing, if that makes sense, which is my health. So there's diet and fitness for my health. A minimum of eight videos on my channel, at least 12 posts on my Instagram, no chocolate, aerated drinks or packaged chips. This is going to be really difficult. I remember doing this for my last 90 days challenge if you've been part of my channel since that time and I used to always give up these three categories because this is what I tend to munch on a lot. My plan is to actually do it for five months so from March to my birthday which is August. I'm going to keep it one month at a time and focus on that one month. That's definitely one of my main goals. I'll probably share about it on my Instagram as well so make sure you're following me there to keep up with that challenge. And lastly 23 days of workout. I really can't wait to get back to my workout classes. For my mini goals i have a few like starting again with my miracle morning routine do at least one hour journal spread finish one book because it's part of one book a month challenge do at least two weekly journal entries start a new series slash challenge for this month on my channel for my habits i'll be tracking my miracle morning routine my no chocolate slash soda slash chips diet and my skincare routine so yeah i think that pretty much covers up my march plan do share your goals for the month of march and let's keep each other accountable if you like this format of plan with me videos then definitely give this video a big big thumbs up and of course if you're not part of meg fam already please do subscribe we're a very warm positive community of 66,000 plus and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and that is it i will see you in my next video till then stay happy positive and blessed and be kind to yourself bye